your menu. Very nice. Let you run long way. Yeah, sorry I'm late. That's okay. You just sat down. It is the busiest time of the semester. <laughs> Tell me about it. Scheduling this search committee meeting has been a nightmare. Comes with the territory. So I've learned. But I'm glad most of us were able to clear our calendars on such short notice. Yeah, why the hurry? The chemistry department wants our recommendation by tomorrow morning. I warned you, Marcus. Hiring faculty for joint appointments can be difficult. So we need to decide tonight. Yes, and it's either Dr. Alec Burton or Dr. Tamaria Powell. Here are some forms from faculty that attended the interview meeting. And here are forms from students that attended the separate interview meeting. Are you guys ready to order? Yes. I know what I want. Good response from faculty and students. Interestingly, both were very impressed with each candidate's research. Their comments mirror ours. And it looks like everyone thought that Dr. Powell and Dr. Burton would be good teachers. If my figures are correct, based on the three questions assessing teaching, research, and service, there's very little difference. They both received a 4.5 on service and research. I got the same thing. But for the question assessing teaching, Dr. Burton received a 4.1, while Dr. Powell a 4.0. Did you round those figures? I did. Uh, actual scores are 4.05 for Burton and 4.03 for Powell. Essentially the same score. Yes, but when we get to the fourth question, where we ask for an overall rating, there is a difference. The average for Dr. Burton is 4.5, but only 4.2 for Dr. Powell. I would have expected more consistency between the three assessment questions and the overall score. It just shows that our faculty and students felt that Dr. Burton simply had the intangibles. Is there anything in the comments? Here's a couple. Both were good, but I prefer Dr. Burton. I thought he was very professional. Tamaria Powell's a little low-key. Seems very knowledgeable, but not as polished as Dr. Burton. She's capable, but Burton seems like a better fit. Most of the comments convey a similar opinion. Oh, wait a minute. I have some that say the opposite. A student says Dr. Tamaria Powell is very inspiring. We should hire her. He did say most of the comments, not all. It's actually more divided. I've separated them, and it seems that there is a clear pattern of distribution. And what pattern is that? By race. The black students prefer Dr. Powell. How did you do that? The response forms are anonymous. Many of the students signed the forms, and I recognize the names because I know many, if not most, of the black graduate students. Here, Bonita Foster says, I would enjoy having Professor Tamario Powell as my advisor. Latrell Wilson says, awesome teacher, definitely should hire her. So, Powell is popular with Afro-Americans. Afro-Americans. <laughs> You're dating yourself, Bill. I am? Yeah, nobody says Afro-American anymore. Marcus. Your observation about the comments is interesting, but looking at this objectively, there's a numerical difference in the scores that we simply can't ignore. What we can't ignore is that we're seeing personality preferences and racial bias. If the first three questions show that Burton and Powell scored the same in teaching, research, and service, then personality, gender, and race are the only things left to explain the response to question four. How well a person fits within our department is a legitimate factor for us to consider. I see what you're saying, but I really don't think the expressed preferences have anything to do with racial bias. It's perfectly normal for a faculty or student to feel more comfortable with one candidate over another. This isn't a racial issue. We have many African-American and Hispanic-American students on campus. Our minority population is significant. 10% total. 
which is significant. And we have a good social climate. We all get along very well on this campus, and I think everyone, faculty and students, for the most part, feel that they're treated fairly. To be honest, I really don't see the influence of racial bias, conscious or unconscious, as being an issue on this campus. You were saying? <laughs>